Right. Select board meeting to order at 6.30. Or reorder. Reorder as the case may be. You are already in. in no, in, same thing. Yeah. Call to order. Call to order. Call the finance committee oh. meeting back to order. And water commissioners. Juju. Meeting still to order. Right. All right. Um, when the select board met at its last meeting, we thought it was a good it would be a good idea to bring these three groups together to try to hammer out final items around the, the water merger and hopefully be able to move forward at the upcoming town meeting uh, which is as we all know less than a month away now um, just because these are the three groups that are going to have to give a, give a blessing to whatever is ultimately decided upon for next steps for town meeting or whatever we take town to town meeting um, I have heard from a variety of people about where things stand and I've obviously had a lot of conversations with Brian about where things stand um, I know I've got my own ideas on how we can make this happen um, but you know my driving motivation here is to is to get something done that works for everybody and to also make sure that those people in the district who need assistance are not forgotten. Um, and I mean the financial assistance. But we can discuss that later as, as, as we get to different packaging. Um, do you want to say anything about how, you know, why we're here, how we got here? Sure. Um, for those of you at home who are inquiring or wondering why we are meeting here three or four of the town departments um, it so happens if you did not know that the center district in Waitley has a water problem and has had that problem for many years it's a problem that exists when we have droughts it's a pro problem that exists when we have moderately warm summers you have an issue where people don't have pressure and individuals there can't get water the way the rest of the town can. And it's not getting better, it's just getting worse. We have an opportunity right now to be able to connect the water system that's in place that we put into Waitley back in the late 80s to be able to connect that system to the middle of town and allow those 40 residents who own properties there to have access to clean potable water for as long as they own their properties and to be able to sell their properties with that kind of water with them so it's incumbent upon this group and the voters to help our neighbors out there's no statute that says a municipality must provide water to anybody but based on the benevolent history of Waitley if we go back a number of years you know the problem we had on the east side of town when when the aquifers went down and everybody's well was gone when that happened the town came together and we put in a water system and that same type of benevolence that same type of help thy neighbor is needed right now so that's what we're doing here but it's not free and, and I, would add, I would add to that I'm sorry <coughs> that there has been a working group that was put together two years ago 18 yeah. 24 months ago two years somewhere ago. in that I know we were in the center school two years yep. ago um, still meeting so that gives a time frame for it right uh, so people have been working on this and they've been working hard and we just want to to use a baseball metaphor we want to make sure that we close the game out. Right, right. So successfully, as opposed to unsuccessful. So we're at the end of the game here, right now. Yeah. We're going to pull this together. We're going to make a decision how best to move forward, to pay for it, 
to explain to the people who will vote on this um, what they will be voting. So that's, um, I'm going to be quiet now and allow anyone else who wants to say something to move forward. I guess let me just say briefly, uh, yeah, I've been on one of the, the latest working committees on this for the last two years and we've met off and on almost every month and talked about a lot of options and and the town did hire a, uh, a design engineer to design a project. The town funds were used. At, it was at the last town meeting we, we uh, appropriated money to pay for an engineer to come up with a design and a study. We have the, we have information on that, and uh, although it may not be final yet, we're still dealing with some of the issues of it. Uh, but I think we've come a long way in, in the two years, and the decision needs to be made whether we go with what we have already today or do we need to study it anymore. Uh, there's some questions here on, as you can see, on the, the, the two options here and how to fund it. Uh, I guess the uh, working committee, I don't, to my knowledge, and maybe Brian, correct me, has not come up with a recommendation either way. We haven't decided. How to how to fund uh, how to fund this uh, as, as a group, and I guess that's maybe one of the decisions that, that needs to be made at this group here today. Uh, we talked about it. We talked various options, ways of doing it uh, at one meeting, but some things have changed a little since then, and we've refined some of the numbers that we had at earlier meetings. So uh, we're not throwing away everything the committee discussed or agreed to before it's just uh, we have a refinement and, and we need to look at it again but well Fred I, and I'm hoping that a fresh set of eyes perhaps can put closure on some of the on some of the decisions that that your group the, the, the group that the working group had had not been able to make right. um, that 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 fresh set of eyes is sometimes really helpful um, I would also add that it's not just potable drinking water um, that is, is an issue here. It is also public safety that's yeah. also an issue here, and that cannot be overlooked. Um, so, and again, I, I've got some thoughts that I, I'm more than happy to put out there as a trial balloon and, and, and have people throw darts at me. Um, but, Joyce, I think you wanted to say something as well. I thought, maybe um, I'm wrong. No, no, I, I was, um, I, I was going to mention that the, not just 40 residents, this, um, water district also serves four or five town buildings um i can't remember out of them all out but four. there's the three buildings four. down there in the cemetery four in the cemetery right um so so it, it does um, uh, benefit to, to town and um i i completely agree with you paul about this is the the time to make this thing work for everybody this you know the, I could count, uh, I would need both hands and maybe to take off my shoes to count the number of times that one section of town is helped on another section of town or even another town when they needed something. So I, I just Absolutely. think um, we should be good neighbors to each other and figure out a way to make this work. Great. Paul, can I, before we get into individual questions, could I just ask for Brian to go through and explain what he's presented here for options? Excellent idea, Fred. So we all understand what we mean. Sure. Right. Let me give a let me give a very brief overview, a non-technical overview, and Wayne and Nicholas, you guys can fill in the technical part um, if it's needed. Um, but I'll start with a question. So, the the water district system and the water department system are how far apart, roughly? Three hundred feet. Yeah. So, yards. so they're about, so it's they're about 100 yards apart, and because of the elevation change between the district system and the water department system, it's necessary to install a pumping station to be able to provide adequate pressure um, to the top of the district system, essentially at the top of the hill. Center of town. Right. At the center of town. Um, so that's basically the infrastructure that needs to be installed and to connect those two systems. Um, so 
like um, Fred had referenced before, the town had appropriated uh, $40,000 of free cash, and the water department hired uh, Berkshire Design Group uh, to design the pumping station, uh, the, the correct size pumps, um, and the type of building, and, and try to figure out what's appropriate for the system to make this happen, to make this physically happen. Um, it came up during the discussions about um, whether the town would desire to have a third pump or maybe even a fourth pump that would have the ability to um, kick on if the hydrants were open so, to, so that the fire department could use it to fight fires. Um, and what the, what the engineer had said is that the existing system can probably take a thousand gallon per minute fire pump. Um, if the town wanted to go that, um, if the town wanted to go that route, um, the the two pumps that are that are proposed to be installed are smaller pumps, and I think they alternate yeah, um, to well, keep well, the well. pressure um, in the system. So that's really basically that, that's really what would be installed here in terms of physical infrastructure. So. The way that the costs are presented on this sheet is there's costs for what we call domestic water supply only. That's the first column. And there's a middle column that says additional costs for fire protection. And then there's combined project costs. Um, so the domestic water supply only total cost would be 381,150. The additional costs for the, for the fire pump and the additional modifications that would need to be made would be an additional $92,400. That's the cost of the fire pump. That's the increase in the size of the generator that would be needed to operate the fire pump. There's additional hydrants, additional trenching. Um, the building needs to be bigger. Um, that would include the pumps. There's additional relays and panels and switches that need to be installed. And there's some additional plumbing and gas fitting work. And all of those costs together about to um, just over $92,000. So the combined project cost is $473,550. Um, on the next sheet, there are some financing scenarios as to how this project could be paid for. And the first sheet that we're looking at, page two, is if we installed a pumping station for domestic water purposes only. Um, throughout the water, the water merger meetings that we had, there were discussions that took place between representatives of the district and the water commissioners. And I think there was an agreement in principle that that each hookup would be charged a $5,000 hookup fee. Is that, is that the understanding? Um, so, that would generate around $200,000 in, um, in revenue. So the first scenario here would show that uh, project revenue, to do the project, we'd have to borrow. And I think all of these scenarios, the town would have to borrow a certain amount of money so that we have the money up front to enter into the contracts and complete the project. This first. This first scenario here would have would have the town borrow three hundred sixty one one hundred uh, three hundred sixty one thousand one hundred fifty dollars, and then the town would pay its proportion its share of the hookup fees, um, which would be four, but really four or five hookup fees. What's shown here is, is four. Um, so the project would get completed, and then assuming we borrowed for one year, we'd have a note that would come due of three seventy one nine eighty five. Um, that includes interest that assumes a 3% interest rate. One seventy. Yep, sorry, 371. 371.985. That's, that's the amount okay. that yeah. we you want to borrow. Then you take the 200. Right. Ideally, we yeah, would take... This is just the borrow. Yeah. Right. Ideally, ideally um, the Enterprise Fund will have, connect, will have collected those hookup fees, so there's a remaining 171.985 that's unaccounted for. Um, 
So scenario two, project financing, um, domestic only, borrowing in town in kind services. This presents a scenario where um, that if the, if the town were to move forward with it, where the town would do um, in kind services for the site work. Um, so that would reflect an amount of 163,350. Let me just go back for one second. On the first page, there's a, there's a cost for site work of 148,500. That was an estimate from Orozki um, as to what it would take. Um, that's what they would charge if they were to do the site work. And that's, that's labor and their profit. That's labor. Their contract. Yeah, because it doesn't include, business. it's everything except materials. Right. So, well, I mean, one of the, I guess one of the overall questions that needs to be answered tonight is whether, whether we think the town has the ability to do that, um, to, to provide those in-kind services to the project. Um, if that were the case, for scenario two, the borrowing, the borrowing would be reduced to 217,800 at the end of 12, so the, we'd borrow 217,800 town would do the in-kind services for the site work the project would be completed and then 12 months we have a note that would come due of um, 223,334 dollars assuming the enterprise funds or the water department collects all of the hookup fees that's an outstanding an outstanding amount of uh, 23,334 dollars um, I don't know if we want to talk about domestic only first or do we want to um, keep going with combined project costs. I think it's a good idea to find out if there's any discussion about I, about the domestic only. Does anybody have a feeling, strong feeling one way or the other? Scott? I would say that the community that considered this for two years voted on a proposal that included fire protection. We did not put forward a proposal for domestic only. That would be a proposal that was not, that did not come out of the committee. Okay. Right, and just so you know, what we're trying to do is just divide the topics out, not to exclude the fire safety as a topic, but just so that people understand logically, here is the process for domestic and here is the process for, for fire. It, it's not to exclude what came out of the committee at all in terms of the discussion purposes. I understand, I just wanted to be clear that good the, 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 the yeah. vetting process and the, and the proposal that came out of the committee was for something specific. And in fact, the, what we voted on in the Wake and Water District at our special meeting three weeks ago, where we voted overwhelmingly to move forward with this to support the proposal, it was included fire protection. Okay. So I don't know the implications of that if you don't end up going that direction. Yeah, I think as Joyce had said earlier, and a number of other people did, we have, you know, the, the town owns property there. And when the special committee got together, that was certainly a piece of the discussion that it just made sense if we're going through all this trouble to spend a little more so that we have that protection in the middle of the town for not only the residents, but town um, buildings. And we have, we have a business there as well. And, uh, in a church, so um, there's, a, there's a lot of lot, a lot of a lot of assets. I think we're assets. in agreement that we should do both together. Yes, yes. I just want to divide it out so we're more following it logically, yeah. domestic and then fire. But I don't think anyone wants to exclude no. just just for simplicity of you got to follow them together. Yeah. So to to follow policy, does anybody have other comments, questions, a feeling that whatever it is. I, yeah, I just wanted to get some clarity uh, on some of the numbers. Um, I understand the uh, 148,500 here was an estimate from a contractor, which, as John pointed out, includes the you know, profit and prevailing wages and lots of things like that. Um, yep. And uh, when we came up with the number of um, possible in-kind service valued at $163,000. This does not mean 
that we need to increase the highway department's budget by $163,000. Correct. Uh, but I also assume it doesn't mean we, we won't have to increase it at all. So is there a more a real number or is this something that the, it's the kind of work that can't be done with time that people are in between other projects and things? I don't really understand um, what, what's the real cost? I think Why don't we ask the highway superintendent? The, the real there, cost is 163000 So maybe this no, is the time to offset, ask. Um, I, I was going to address it to Brian if he knew, but um, I'm happy to hear from whoever is best uh, set to, to answer that. <laughs> there is, yes, there will be some costs associated for us. Um, <clears throat> rental of like an excavator would be one one piece one component but um, other than that um, I, I gave Brian I don't have that number here a rough estimate as to what I what I thought it might entail but um, we are otherwise we already have much of the other equipment we have compacting equipment we have the trucks we have things of that nature um, so really the biggest component would be an excavator it would need to be on proper licenses and etc. I'll, I'll have that correct already. So. Chief, what's the what would be the opportunity cost in terms of what projects, what work or projects would you guys have to delay potentially because if you were asked to do this? You know, I don't really feel that I'm gonna would ever have to make a decision that something's gotta give. I mean, I just feel that it, it just can be pieced in there. It, this isn't a project where it's got to get done the first day, the first week it starts. It, it can it can be done over a, a short period of time. It's not like we have to move in and be there exclusively for from start to finish. Um, and again, just looking at the estimate that was prepared for the site work, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a there's a good there's profit margin in there. there's a lot you know I feel there's a fair amount of profit margin especially when I know what I had I provided him with the prevailing wages and when you're looking at a 60 60 something dollar an hour rate and then that contractor has to mark that up on top of it because they have overhead on their employees that it doesn't take long to quickly have your labor into the you know thousands and thousands of dollars of labor um, whereas our aspect of the labor is more than a third you know or you're talking like twenty dollars an hour versus sixty dollars an hour for labor um, and again I feel um, that Wayne is capable of um, we, you know, like when we did the work on Egypt Road, where Wayne and I and my crew we installed the water main on Egypt Road, um, I don't feel there's a problem of us being able to to carry so it forward. So you have the utmost confidence in your ability to start and finish it. Yep. And, and then, so I genuinely think that because of the cost of hiring out a private contractor. And because we are a town that's looking to do this on behalf of all the residents of the town, we're all in this together. It makes all the sense in the world to have Keith's crew perform this work. I, I, I just think it, it, it just makes all the sense in the world to have them, have them do that. And I have all the confidence in the world that they would do it really well. Absolutely. I wouldn't question that for a moment. Um, I have a question. On all the um, the previous numbers that we've had over the last few years, well, the most recent one that I have, which is from a couple months ago from the Water Merger Committee, we had a quote of 20000 for the site work and the trenching. And I know in a previous one, we had a quote of 17000 Does anybody remember where those numbers came from? Wait. <laughs> I think we're just using right from the beginning, just not charging the town the hookups. I mean, then we're just guesses. Yeah, a lot of that was guesswork. Yeah. Um, and also, <laughs> at the same point in time, 
I have, again, in my mind, the, the cost for the excavator is going to be a big portion of that number, that 20000 right there. Okay. Questions, John? Uh, the individual items here, who's, who's going to manage the project? Is this going to be the water department or is there going to be a general contractor overseeing all of this? How is that going to be managed? <coughs> implemented and managed? If, and yeah. not, not just site work either. I'm not talking just site work. I'm asking the water department. Who's going to manage the project? Between the three of us, we can do that. So you would have individual contracts for each of these types of work. Wayne's already got okay. quotes on all the electric. Okay. I just, I'm just curious. We got three, four, five. We got six different items on here. Okay. What else? Okay. Well, if we're not going to deal with. Domestic only, we may so move right over to the fire. 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 And then we can pack it off. Right. So, Brian, you want to walk through the fire piece? Yep. Com combination. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it safe to assume that that uh, that the highway department is going to be doing the providing the in kind services for the site work? Because if so, we won't talk two. about one, we'll talk about two. I would not be opposed. I, I, I would encourage you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think that that's a better way to go as long as So let's use that assumption for the rest of this conversation. Okay. Okay. Well, let's skip one. Let's go to two then on page three. All righty. So this is going to look pretty familiar. Um, adjust it a little bit, but. In this scenario, it would look like the town would still borrow the 217,800 uh, and the value of the in-kind services. This just offsets what you know the project costs that are listed on the other page um, of 168,850. And the difference here for the additional fire protection, or, or the main difference here is that we need to find a way to pay for those additional costs. And the reason it's um, 86,900 and not the 92,400 is that there's $5,000 of site work by the town. So at the end of the day, the note is with the payback on a, on a, on a one year note would be 223,334. That's again, assuming we get the water department gets two hundred thousand dollars in hookup fees. Um, it would leave us with uh, twenty-three thousand three hundred thirty-four outstanding. To, and we would need to decide where that money comes from. Um, I, I do want to suggest that I don't know that we would collect forty hook, um, forty hookup fees within that 12 month period. That's something that's not necessarily known, but if we're going to assume that we're, that that's not going to be the case, then this, this 23,334 is going to increase because that's, that's the difference that's needed to pay off that note after the first year. Um, and, and I want to address actually your, your, your assumption about the, the hookups and that, but I'll get to that when I give up. Well, what did I want to speak to? Um, your point about the collection of the hookup fees within one year and whether or not that's a reality. So I, I would have to go back to the district guys again and get a, a sense of what do you think? What, what do you think the reality is of collecting $5,000 for 40 years? I mean, what what percentage is it? Do you think it's a ninety-five percent? Is it a? Is it hundred? I've never done anything like that. Yeah. This. I mean, it would be a new experience. So, uh, but you know the people. I do. I, um, there's been discussion of this in the district for in, in earnest for five years, I think, 
and we've discussed it at every meeting for the last three years, absolutely. Uh, so people have had a lot of warning. Uh, I don't know everyone's point. But Jonathan so mentioned the part yeah. about the financial assistance, and we have to work that into this. Right. So everybody has the opportunity. So, you don't so, want anybody to shut out. So let me put out a, a, a concept, and then you guys can laugh. But I'm pretty serious about it. You have 40 homes. Let's assume just for easy math that 35 of them could come up with $5,000 over a 12 month period of time before that note was due. Okay, so then just for easy math, you have five homes that are, are living paycheck to paycheck at, at, at some, to some degree or another. If the water department were to place that $5,000 hookup fee into water bill collections over a year and perhaps more if the people needed a little bit of time, a little bit more time. I, I think it works and I say that because the rates that are being paid by the 40 households now are higher than the rates that they will pay under the water department. Now, you can always factor in water usage, but that's their, that's their issue, that's not, that's a rate. So if the, if the water usage remains constant for the 40 or for the five homes, then the rates are going to go down without the hookup fee issue. If you include some proportionality of the hookup fee and place it into their, what do you guys do, monthly bills, quarterly? Every six months. Every six months, okay. It, and, and you were to do it, and, and maybe you have to do it over two years instead of, instead of 12 months. Again, these are the people who really are struggling. And there would be some type of assessment done to truly say, yes, you are in that category, or no, you're not in that category. You have to get a, 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 a loan of some kind, what have you. But if we can figure out a way to help those people most in need, I think you will get 100% of the hookups. We just have to be willing to be a little bit creative. And God help us if we can't be creative for the people most in need. That's, and, and, and I'm sure the MWRA, which is the biggest water department going, has this functionality as part of their building cycles. So it's possible, logistically. And that means, so, and, and so to, Bobby, to your point, I don't think if we were to adopt that, that you would need any special financing beyond you might get a small percentage of the 40 homes needing 24 months instead of 20. That's my. That's putting it at effectively something like 90%. Right. Ninety percent short term, hundred percent long term. Right. I know Jonathan is is certainly um, uh, on the right track and trying to help everybody out, to make sure everybody gets hooked up. Um, <coughs> we do have a district though that's very cohesive. You guys have been meeting for a long time. You know all the players in it, and I think we should rely on you to get an understanding does this scenario even exist I mean we want to make sure that if it does that everybody's taken care of but does it really exist or maybe not how would you go how do you think it's a is it a doable uh, we have talked in the district about doing of doing some fundraising of our own trying to come up with some like a no interest or low interest loan fund for the people in that same situation. Yep. Uh, we haven't done any organizing about it because it, it hasn't gone to town meeting. We, we, we've done so much work on this. But, that you, but you've but spoken about it, so. We've spoken about it. I mean, I think there So are, then I mean, there must be something there. There is something there. You know, the I mean, smoke I, is I, I, I do, I and mean, then I know at least a couple people who will have trouble. Yeah. I think okay. the goal has been to get the message out that there is going to be support, although the structure for that support is very unclear. 
Yeah. So like yours, this is a really creative idea, and there have been other creative ideas to try to level the playing field in terms of that price tag and individuals. I thought the message is the message we're trying to get across is we're trying to figure out a solution. And, but but going into town meeting, I, I, there needs to be a couple scenarios that are painted for people to feel comfortable that it is a viable. It's a, it's a viable chance that that something can be worked out. Either either my solution, your fundraising, a combination of both, wh whatever it is, because I I really do believe under the concept of everyone needs skin in the game for this to work. If we're a town wide solution, everyone. Even even the people who need the most help need to have a little bit of skin in the game, and we need to help them provide that skin, perhaps. But um, but at town meeting, people need to understand, and I really do believe this has to go to this town meeting. Um, and the understanding has to be that this two hundred thousand dollars is collectible. Is collectible and will be available to pay off a loan. Yes. It's not going to stay in, you know, the cloud you know, until something happens. You know, so, so that's when we go to town floor, we have to assure the voters. That's why it's so important that we get, if you're saying 90, 95%, something like that, that's a, that's, there's a lot of surety there. Um, but if it's only 50. What if it's only 50? What if it's only 50%? 50%? Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's the question I'm getting at. That's why you got to build something into that. As a contingency? Yeah. Ah. And if we don't use it, we don't, if we don't yeah, need it. Yeah, we don't need right. it. Right. Absolutely. But for me, see if I understand what Jonathan's saying. I, I don't have any problem with that concept, but you're proposing a, hot, a, a different water usage rate for the 40 people in town versus... No, no, no. I, I'm water. suggesting that, that the water rate is... is the water rate. Yeah. I'm saying that the rate that they pay, the new rate that they pay is going to be different than the rate that they've been historically paying. Right. That was the difference. What's different for the people who can't pay the 5,000 hookup fee up front within the 12 months based upon their own financial mechanisms, that there would be a, a an additional line item on their bill that indicates that this line item is for the payment of the hookup fee as an iterative process. So it would be like an installment, oh, right? Yes, for we would find that. The town's going to find it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Well, that wasn't yeah. clear yeah. what yeah. you were saying. Yes, that's that's what I'm saying. So it may not be in the water rate, it'll be an additional It's not in the water rate. Right. It is absolutely not in the water rate. It is an additional line item, just like you have additional items on, on your electric bill that take like five pages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, well, that's a little different than what I heard you say earlier. Well, I think everybody heard no, what I said, but yeah. okay. I, 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 that's I fine. That. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so what? Uh, two years. The monthly cost over two years would be $208. Okay. But it's yeah. a search. Yeah, Who's going to determine these people that can't? commit to making a five thousand dollar payment we were talking about that earlier it would have to be someone who is very good at assessing financial hardship um, you know there's a, a, a system in place for free and reduced school lunch there's a system in place for that somebody's right. got to make that right and, and we would find that Water person no. can't be somebody who's done it. right can't we would find someone who's very good at that so that so that the town is looked after in terms of somebody not saying I I can't do it and because they just don't want to do it because they could do it over two years or four years right, right exactly and people who really will and we know they exist I mean unfortunately we know they exist so somebody who really knows what they're how to do this which is nobody at this table um, would have to be asked to, to, to figure out the formula and then you just plug in numbers in the formula and and personalities and and stories don't come into play it's just it's sort of like college financial aid pretty much the formula is the formula and if you make it you make it and if you don't go get home home equity so the town will be the banker for these people that can't afford pretty much. yeah pretty much you're saying yeah 
Because you, you, you probably you don't have about there's really no other alternative. Alternative. They may not be able to get a home loan. They may yeah. not be able to get an equity loan. I, I don't know. Right. They may all be underwater. Whatever it is. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. But if that surfaces, then we have an avenue for them right. to get the water. Mm -hmm. And it would be done sure. privately so no one is shamed into yeah. admitting they can't do it. I mean, we would set it up very carefully. Well, it would come through the water department when they through your fees. Well, no, what I'm saying is the application process. Yeah. Well, okay, that part. Okay. You're not going to know their background. I think it's a great idea. But the yeah, fees are so. all come so. through the department. Yeah. And then once the billing, once you get the water, or whatever, it's switched over. Here. So, so I, I genuinely believe with this kind of an idea, and if we also, if, especially if we include some, some, some fundraising into that by the people in the district, that we wouldn't be at 100% within 12 months. We'd be at 100% within within two years. I, re, I based on $208 a month and a little, as a top cost, I think it's 100%. I really do, and I and I would sell that at town meeting in a heartbeat. Okay, so your your cost, you're you're looking getting back to Brian's scenario two here. You're looking at for town funds the 86.9 plus 23.334 plus whoever doesn't pay on time, right? Yep. Over the two years, also the town hookup fees too. Well, that would be those kind. That's in kind, kind, kind services. services. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's so, going to be in. in, in well, I'm sure I think it's included in that. Number. I think the concept that the town's putting up one hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars in in-kind services. That the that the twenty thousand dollars in hookup fees would be waived. Yeah, right. But then it won't be two hundred thousand for the hookup. So, so you yeah. roughly got That's 110 minus plus, 110 oh, sorry, plus. minus the five. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. So that the total to yeah. the town, regardless of how you divide it up or okay. what fund you use, is 110 plus the those that don't pay the hookup fees. So. Right. And that's probably debt service. That's not a permanent number of the ones who don't pay the hookup fees, assuming 100%. Now, getting back to the 23334, where does that come from? Um, I look. We're going to have a big water district now. You got 40 more homes, 45 more hookups. You already have Wayne. How many on each side? 385. 385. So now you're at the 400 plus. <coughs> um, what's your collections now? I mean, what yearly? What One seventy, one seventy-five. Okay. Um, one eighty, right around there. I would think. Uh, I would think you'd step forward and absorb that. We've already discussed that. Yes. Well, you good with it? You're okay with that? You could save me a lot of angst here. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, right? you well, could I, I was trying to figure out how I was going to come in with it, and then what was the next? So, so if nice we've job. got if we've got the twenty three and change being covered by the enterprise fund, and we've got pretty good confidence that we get one hundred percent of two hundred thousand, and <coughs> we get the the fire protection, and that's a max because there there may be ways to bring that number down depending upon what we feel is and, and John's going to be involved with this obviously in terms of yeah. the best the best approach to, to doing this, the most cost-effective approach. Um, and, and the Finance Committee, and mostly, and the select board would throw its two cents in, you know, I'd say you do it through capital stabilization or stabilization, stabilization is supposed to free cash, but that's, that's a, as long as there's money there, and there is money there in both, account, in both count, accounts, this is the package that we go with. And, and, and Keith's, Keith's good work, that, this is the package. I got a question for John, though. There was some talk about one hydrant, two hydrants, the truck pulling off both hydrants, and I got, it was somewhat confusing. Now it says three hydrants. But if there's three hydrants in town, will you be able to, and there is, God forbid, a fire in town, a fire in the center of town, will you be able to hook a hose up right to the hydrant, or does it, or does it still have to go to a pump up? Today? No, no. no. Yeah, yeah, like, we know. Yeah, we just. Well, the fire protection will take it. It will go into the bumper to create pressure. 
He always took the Trump guy. Right? Always took the yes. Okay. No, that was so. That was the question. Yeah. So then, so then, <laughs> why? And again, I know you guys haven't seen me help you guys fight many fires, so can assume that I. I did see your news. <laughs> Let's assume that I am clueless when it comes to this. Um, if you're going to use a pumper anyway, why do you need three hydrants? Three, 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 three hydrants when you're going to use a pumper anyway? It's three additional hydrants. Where are they going? Three total. It's three additional. Three additional. Three additional. But there are also yeah. there are also other costs. Why do you need the hundred thousand dollar or the thousand dollar or the hundred th um, the thousand? Has to put the water in. This is. It. Thousand gallon per minute fire pump. Is yeah, the thousand gallon per minute fire pump. Taxi. Do you still need that? Yes. If you're going to use a pumper anyway. Yes. 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 You okay. still need to get the water to the truck. Okay. I mean that sounds logical to me, but I I prefaced it by saying I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to fighting the fires. So. Yeah. I think I think his question is where are those three hydrants going? One's a definite. One we have to put in because we we have to put it in at the end of their main so you could flush the main just to keep the water clean for drinking. Right, the one in on, front on, of your house. On Hayesville right? Road. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the other two yeah. we talked about in front of the yeah. church, in front of the library, yeah. I think is where you were saying. Do we have one in Westland? No, on Hayesville Road, not Westland. No, no, no that no, one's be, a given. You, you gotta get that one, one I have to put in. You gotta put that one in. The other two we were talking in front of the church and in front of the library, the library right? Because those, they're really spread out. Right now, you got one where? Down by your house, one yes. right in the center, and then one, one part way over the hill. The top of the hill hangs south. Right, so there'd be two tapped into the existing system. Yes. Uh, three, actually. Three, three one, more. one up on the hot yeah. top end. On the top, now you end and, the line. And those are the three you would look up to, is what you're saying? No, we could still use the three that are there now. You could use the others also. Yes. Right. And they'd all be even, it wouldn't matter which one. Right. You're not putting running new line, you're just gonna put hydrants just in the happen, existing line. Put a hydrant oh, yeah. in the existing line. Yeah, no new line. So. Okay. So then the other thing to just for the purposes of town meeting, I, I know there have been some questions about the final blueprint of the new pumping station. If there is a way to do it less expensively, we just wouldn't spend all the money that's being appropriated through this process. This is the this is the cap. Yep. And if we can find as effective with less cost, we just don't spend all the money and it goes back to it goes back to the town. The one thing I would say about that is um, the the thing that did happen with the design of the pumping station is that it had a lot of positive aesthetic qualities to it. Mm -hmm. And it was designed in part to fit in with the landscape and to be honorable to the landowner who is donating this land. So if any changes get made to that, it would be really valuable that she hear about those changes and have just a in, be informed and knowledgeable that that is taking place because she's been incredibly okay. supportive and agreeable and I think they want to maintain that. I, I would agree and I, and I guess not having seen the plans where I'm coming from is if there is a way to put this underground so there's no visible sight line to, to any a structure at all and again I don't know how realistic that is I, I'm hearing different things so I, I just don't know but I I just want people at town meeting to understand that this is the scenario if we find ways to reduce costs we will continue to try to do that sure because it's got to, but I, I understand I appreciate what you're saying absolutely, absolutely. and again I, I'm sort of picking this up as I go right now so we, we, Jonathan, to that point we, we did talk some of us in the committee talked about that last week and there is the option of going underground. We don't know the cost yet. I think Wayne is trying to figure out whether what the cost is of that. Okay. Well, Fred, can I suggest that and the conversation <coughs> about changing the changing whatever from a, a, a building to underground? It may be a great idea, but I wouldn't have it in a small working group. I would have it with the entire group that has 
worked so hard already. First, we want to see if, if the costs were any different. If there weren't, well, then we would continue with okay. the existing design. There's no need to meet with the group. Okay. If the costs were not different, that's what we're going to find out. That and, and the routing could be different too. If you go underground, putting the, the, the pump station underground, it may be a different location than where it's proposed now. Okay. And I, I, there is there is a pump station today. They operate a pump station today in Westbrook Road <coughs> underground. Yeah. Right? You have one, so this one would be similar to that. I would assume maybe different size, whatever, but similar yeah, if you had, operation. If you had the fire pump in, it'd be, have to be a lot bigger. Right, but the same, but the, the, the concept of it and stuff yeah. would be the same thing. Really, yeah. from the top you see not much. Uh, Nothing. Yeah, and, and Fred, my own, I, I understand that. My only, my only cautionary tale is that when all of a sudden small groups are formed, sort of ad hoc, the the, the buzz around that there it, it's there's anxiety because of the unknown, because people hear about meetings, etc., and then the it, it just I just would encourage as much transparency as possible, and so. So my understanding is that we're not going to ask the town meeting to approve the site design. Right. That's correct. No. So all of this can be money. We, we we made a reasonable <coughs> estimate of what we think cost would be for a reasonable solution to this. If it sounds like something that town meeting would pass, let's pass it. I think if there's I think an opportunity have, to reduce the cost after the vote. So be it. We can so always look into that. I right? think you have the perfect thing on the bottom here. You just need to figure out how many people are going to need financial help because I'm, I'm going to bet this number on the bottom goes up a little higher, which is fine. But you just need to not say all of a sudden say, well, we need twice that. I think if you get a handle on that, it'll, it'll be easy. Okay. So, Brian, we can put this on a warrant that reads, and we all have to read the final thing and then vote on it, obviously, that it's that it's um, supported by Select Board Finance and Water. Correct. So that the town understands that town meeting that we're all in this together. Right. Two water rockets. Excellent. Two water rockets. Thank you. Two water yes. and, and fire and highway. Don? And the only scenario that's going to be given it on meeting is going to be the complete package. Correct. Okay. Fire. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. don't complicate things. Right. 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 Yeah. right. I mean, there's, there is some talk around town that we're not ready for prime time yet. I very much believe we are ready for prime time. And I think that we need to make sure everyone, everyone understands that the rumors about not having the necessary answers to the questions, we have them all. We'll find out. Any last comments? I, I've got one comment on the, uh, the collections of the hookup fees. Instead of adding a fee to the people who are unable to pay, why not add that fee to everyone? Build initially, and it comes off when it gets paid. With some sort of that's not to make just it, to do it across the board. As to do it across the board, but as soon as as soon as a person pays the five thousand, it comes off their bill. Which it would, with that, right? With even right. five. But right. to provide an incentive to get that money in quicker, as opposed to hey, I've got a five thousand dollar bill, I can pay it now. I can pay it a month from now. I can get six months from now. I, I I think that's a good idea. What I would suggest for incentive, so that you don't have people that. Unless you qualified for assistance, mm -hmm. that if you go beyond that 12 month period of time, you're going to start to pay a pretty hefty fine. I didn't call it a fine, I called it interest. Yeah. yeah. Right, no, that, that's fine. But I, I think uh -huh. rather than adding something to someone's bill, have it on everyone's bill. Right? Yeah, that's fine. That you then take that's off. That's fine, because that's just a, a key punch. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. 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 but let, let them have, you know, see that first quarter installment of. Twelve hundred and fifty or thirteen hundred dollars for a six month period, and all of a sudden say, "Well, I should, you know, yeah. I'd rather pay the five thousand. It would normally be two thousand five hundred because you want as well for paid within a year. Okay, well, what, what, well, we were talking two hundred a month or two two oh, that was if that was right. If to, what, 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 whatever, whatever the number is, I think some sort of incentive to get people to pay that five thousand as soon as they yeah. can, because that can then be. You know, assuming that the the note is uh, written in such a way that can be paid out, you can start paying off principal. I, I agree. Immediately. I agree with that. Do you guys have the capacity 
or could you marry up with the town's online piece to, to for people if they wanted to using Scott's two hundred eight dollars just concept? Something we got to run by, Len. Yeah, I, I just so that so that if someone all of a sudden had two hundred eight dollars, you know, if they had three hundred dollars, oh, I, I want to pay part of that five thousand. Just go online, pay it online. And, and then whatever bill they see at the six month period frame would be th that yeah. would be deducted. So right. but we can, but we should run that by land. But I, I, I just think it's also less stigmatizing that everyone get the bill rather than handing it right, to right. someone else. I think you're right. Yeah, that's great. It, just a question, Brian. Is it? Do I remember correctly? Like the first twelve months, there is no interest for the, for the loan. So. Essentially, if everybody paid within that first year, it wouldn't cost the town anything more if right. they paid right at the beginning of that mm -hmm. or at the end of that, it would be the same. It's true. The amount of interest would be the same. Yeah. That's it's not zero. It's not zero, right. Right. right, but the, uh, right. it's a fixed cost. It's not going to change whether we pay it off at the beginning oh, or at right. the end of the year. Right, right. right. we can't. Right. But, but those people who don't need the assistance as an incentive, I think there should be a, a high interest rate. I think mm -hmm. go beyond that. You know, you got to run this by town council. Mm -hmm. okay. All of these moves, because you also have to put a proviso in there. Should the property be sold prior to prior to pay off of this bill, there has to be some kind of lien. Um, so yeah, there's, there's some technicalities. Yeah. There. The, the, the communication and conversation in the district has all been the five thousand dollars is due when the water is turned off. Well, that is that is what people are expecting. There's not been a, a let's conversation. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. There's not been right, a conversation that you can have 12 right. months to pay off. Right. The assumption's been just worry about the ones that can. The ones that can. Okay. Yeah. Do when the water's turned off. Right. And we'll just have when some communication can. vehicle for the people who really struggle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the guys, that's selectmen and that will yeah. eliminate us. A lot of yeah. Them. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Well, right. that's 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 those are the hookup fees. Not to complicate things, those are the hookup fees of the water commissioners. Right. The hookup fees are paid to the enterprise fund. Right. Yes. So we will need the agreement and consent of the water commissioners to make this happen. Yes. Is what I'm suggesting. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if I haven't heard anything or thoughts about what's been proposed. Some of this has to be run by Lynn. I don't know if she can put this or run this with the software we have. We can do we can do independent bills if we need to. Okay. I, I guess I was I, I guess I was looking for for feedback in terms of the, the hardship stuff that was talked about. Yeah. Not the work. No. I don't have a problem with it if they qualify. Okay. Oh, you wish I was done. I do. I want. I, I would like some clarity as to what we're moving forward, what we're moving to town meeting. So there's going to be an article for borrowing, um, and that's going to be in the range of 217, 800. Um, and what's that? Don't you have to borrow the whole thing? No. Nope. There's also going to be an article on there for $86,900 in town capital funds. Right. And where is that going to come from? Do we, how do we want to propose, or where is that going to come from? Well, I think the point we want to talk that, about it. That to vote the first one in, you're going to need two-thirds majority. Um, True. So stabilization, you need two-thirds. Theoretically, if the first one passes, you should have the votes in the room. Take it out of stabilization. Capital stabilization? Yeah. Uh, capital or regular stabilization? Yeah. Right. I think regular stabilization. Yeah, because I'm not sure. Do we have even 217 in capital stabilization? No, you're not taking no, 217. You're taking 86. 86. Sorry. So, which account was that of stabilization? Right. Yeah. Regular stabilization. So, is there something going to be we said of our article about the 23? The shortfall so is what what I was thinking for the the shortfall is we're really not going to know that, and that's not going to come due 
for 12 months after the loan. So we're not going to know that amount. Yeah. So what we could is we maybe we don't appropriate money at this point, but we either do it at the next annual or special town meeting to appropriate those retained earnings because we'll know what the amount is. Yeah. Um, at this point, it's it's really a guess. Yeah. Um, and I I also wanted to talk to to this can be something offline, but um, well the details of it could be offline, but. We also need to figure out when it's appropriate to request a special legislation um, for the d department to take over or for the, the water district to be dissolved. It, it seems to me like it, it would probably probably be premature at this point to have a vote on that. Um, I think so. I mean, I think we have to we have to kind of wrap up our entire situation right. before we dissolve the district because we once the district's dissolved, the commissioners have no authority to do anything. Right. So, so, so there may be a point. There may be a point once this is constructed that the well, it doesn't have to be that the district is purchasing water, but the district will exist, but the customers will be serviced by the water department. So. There'll be an overlap so. I think at the some district point. District could could just doesn't have nothing to do with servicing water anymore. Right. Right. But I think it'd be important if you sat down, the principals here, and constructed a timeline and when things are going to occur over that timeline in regards to dissolution of the district, takeover of the enterprise fund, and um, construction, all of this stuff should be all mapped out yep. so that um, you can just look at it and that's done. Yeah. Uh, and just, uh, so the town is borrowing the money, the hookup fees have to be paid to the enterprise fund. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then it comes out is of it just a handshake back. to that the enterprise fund is gonna pay us back? <laughs> you know? No, the How article the article oh, Wayne's oh. already smiling. The article will be worded. I you. Saying, the I article you will be worded in such a way that it has to come out. <laughs> Correct. If it's not, then then we get into proposition two and a half talk. Yeah, um, in terms of not what we're talking about that. No. Um, no. I don't want to say those words. So, so, yeah. you, so can you hammer out the right language for that? Yeah, certainly. Um, the one other, the other clarity that I need is, and I guess this doesn't have to happen now, but maybe an understanding as to where the money comes from if there are, if the enterprise fund does not collect the full two hundred thousand. Did they say you need to build that number over here? <coughs> Um, wouldn't that be similar to the 23 and change, just appropriate to do that at a later time? Yeah. It would be, but we're all in the room together. I think it would be good to have an understanding of where that money, who's, but let's say there's $15,000 uncollected and we need $15,000 to satisfy the one year note. How do we, how do we get that $15,000? You roll over the note, like you said, from this first quarter. Send the bills out quicker. <laughs> so you're saying the enterprise. So you're saying the enterprise. So my question to the water commissioners is: Is that okay? Do do we agree with that? I, I mean, it's to somebody's point as to who's acting as the bank essentially. Right. Wow. I just, I just like to give a thought about this in that. Um, I know the enterprise fund was meant to try to keep the water system, water department sustainable. I think what we're talking about here is not like normal upkeep and maintenance of their system. And nor is it an investment in which they expect to get a significant return from. They've been very cooperative in trying to be helpful in resolving the problem that we have in the district center. And I think they've been generous in agreeing to cover this 23,000 and to give over all of the hookup fees to try to make this happen. I guess I would suggest that maybe there is a role for the town to just cover any kind of gap that might come, I think I'm fairly confident there won't be one. But I think given that the town helped what a number of residents get water when they needed it, that's this is a small amount to pay to make sure that this the center gets the, uh, the water. The town, you just heard Wayne say, yeah, 300 and what on this? 80? 85. Okay. So with the district, so we're looking at Four and a quarter, somewhere in there, 
and we have how many households in town? Seven? Eight hundred. Seven, eight hundred? Yeah. Seven, eight. So you look at it, nearly half the town that, and I know we can say the four, four properties in town and a church and a wake in, but you got half, half the taxpayers in town that will stand to gain no benefit from any of this. And direct benefit. Indirect direct benefit. Direct benefit. And all of those, most of those people, if they have water problems, they have to call Charlie Henshaw, yeah. like I did last week, who showed up at my house and told me between seven and ten grand I had to throw in the ground. No one's there's nobody's gonna be helping you out. Nobody's you know, I'm I'm it. <clears throat> so Right, but so, but, but I, what, my question is, why are pe people in the Waitley Center different from the people in East Waitley that when they need water, they get no help from the town? Well, you get that way versus the bond that was taken out to build the system to begin with. So, I, and, and you say no benefit, but I think that ensuring the investment made in the town hall so that that's fire protected and the investment in the other town buildings as well as the church and the way the end it's something that the whole town gets benefit from. no question and I, I i you know this is a small matter when you look at the whole picture there's no doubt about it but at some point you have to say how what like the town is the town's doing the borrowing the town is taking on the fire protection the town is essentially underwriting the whole thing and sure the payback comes from the people who are benefiting most in the middle of town two hundred thousand dollars but then we've got Keith and his guys the whole town's paying them and I think the town is reaching out I think the town is helping out the center People. Just like they helped out the east side how many years ago? I, I think we are. No? Oh, what am I wrong? What about, I'm not trying to say that you're not helping at all. What I'm saying is, is that I bristle at the argument that there are people who get no benefit will have to pay for it. That's happened before in this town. And yeah, it's going to happen again. And it's probably going to happen again. It's going to happen again. Right. Right. Let's, right. Assume right. 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 Let's assume that we might have this conversation <laughs> with West Whaley at some point down the road. <laughs> you won't. How are you going to get water to West Whaley? I'm just saying that there's, there's no water. guarantee that the yeah. water supply. We'll, we'll be getting our water from Northampton in the country. Okay. Hey. So, can I make a suggestion? No. We get a contract. We get. Can I, we can take to this. We're arguing about fifteen thousand. Right. Yeah. 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 So and we don't even know it's going to exist. No. Okay. That's my. That's but my. if it does come to pass, I would suggest that the enterprise fund and the town split the difference and walk away and just say, "All right, let's go home." That would be my suggestion. Again, but I get. I love the middle. I love compromise. But I. Size of yeah. Let's not make a big deal out of it. No. Let's not make a big We're deal out of it. Short doesn't even exist. Yeah. Yeah. I, I if really it happens. Question, question about the Warren articles. Uh, maybe it's not relevant, but should we have one that's, that says we're combining the district and a water department? Or do we, if we don't do that, do we have some, mm -hmm. some document saying the water commissioners are accepting the district as part of the water department do we that have was that premature time? did you hear him say that's premature to start talking about that no before we even finance and borrow shouldn't we have some kind of agreement that the department is willing to the department to is add the water to, to add the district to their the, the water department is supporting all the articles that we just talked about and those articles all individually and collectively Say the same. This word. That's what it's. That's well, what they're saying. Uh, I'm, I'm asking. Should we have something from them no. saying that? <coughs> no. I don't think we need it. Do we need that? No. I don't think so. Okay. So, I, I would suggest that that I put together two more articles. One for the borrowing, with for the enterprise fund back debt, and one for the eighty-six thousand nine hundred in stabilization from stabilization. In that. 
um, we can circulate to the we can circulate that to the different boards who can vote to recommend that. Good. Yeah. Well, unless we all want to take votes tonight. No. I know. I know the finance committee is a meeting April sixteenth, so yeah. you'd have the option the, for the water merger committee. If if we're going to vote on it, we should vote right now because yeah, we're not on the water. Yes, yeah, so maybe we're not. Maybe that maybe that doesn't happen. I don't think you can vote until you see it in black and white because that's what you vote. I have no problem saying that. You're not that voting unless on I this. see something <laughs> out of the ordinary. I have no intention not to vote for. It. I mean, but we have a meeting what, next Wednesday. This Wednesday. No, next Wednesday. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be in time. Right? Yeah. 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 April six. April sixteenth. Mm -hmm. April tenth. April tenth, and then ideally you would sign the warrant on the seventeenth, so you'd have two meetings to shoot over, and then I'm, I don't know about the water commissioner's meeting schedule, but but I, I love this plan. I think we could all walk around saying this. We've, mm -hmm. This is this is this. this this you means something to the entire town. It does. Are you doing so any I just one, one question. What the Thank you. becoming of the assets once this happened? Your land and everything else? The assets of the water district are going to be distributed to all of the water people who have been buying water from the water district for okay. years. So which, which will be used to reduce their $5,000. Okay, but that's just what I was driving. Perfect. That, that should be brought up. So yeah. there is an effort being made to help those people out already okay. by them selling the rest of their assets, and that will go back to those individuals, not everybody else. Right. We're and, helping them already. And the town. Yeah. I don't know if that one request from Senator Fine or Keith. If the Finance Committee could get some sort of budget request for what it is going to the additional budget in the in Keith's department, but you know there's going to be a cost of an excavator. Battery, what? medium. I will work with Brian on that. Okay, because we've got a meeting in two weeks, and it'd be nice yeah. to have that number that we could work off of that. I, I, I would actually like to put it in the, in the, I would actually like to include this cost in the project budget. And then we can clean it that way. Okay, but e either way. Yeah, that's why I hesitate a little bit with the, Put a final number on the debt yet until we get those costs. Okay, then I'm I'm gonna make a motion. So for this, uh, hold on for the select board. Sorry. Um, what about April eighth? What about the April eighth information uh, meeting? Are we uh, moving forward with that? We got all the people in here who might want to talk about it. So <coughs> I think we should based upon this because it's a good story. Is the water the only issue for the information session? Um, there's, uh, there's zoning. There's a zoning bylaw uh, yeah, change. They, their presentation is pretty short, so if there were not, the water merger might not need to have a separate information meeting just for those uh, particular bylaws. But uh, if you're going to have a meeting, you might well. them that you're aware of the dates and if you wait for the outcome of this meeting to know that to confirm that. But I don't think we're So April 8th, yes. April 8th, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Motion to adjourn select board. A second. Motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Yeah. All right. All right. All right.